Today we are stenciling right on top of things in our collected junk pile. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie and next we are going to be working on stenciling. So we are going to be stenciling. I'm going to I've chosen this stencil for my um my journal and I need to make at least three things using the stencil. So one of the things I thought might be kind of fun is to take one of the pages from out of the journal book or out of the book and put some birds, stencil some birds on, on it. So I think we're going to go, looks like if I put them right about here, you'll be able to see them. And I have, I'm just using my distress ink and um, it's the same that I used when I brushed on ink after stamping. And I'm just going to go ahead and add a bird to my magazine image. Okay, so, or book image. So there, we just added two little tiny birds. If you're here for the premiere, I'm waving hi. And say hi to midnight. Hi, midnight. I want to thank you so much for being here today. We've got a whole lot more we're going to show, but just so you know, we are here each day at 1030 with a new fun crafty video. Usually it's junk journaling. Sometimes it'll be another paper craft or, or a shopping haul. Or if you're here after the premiere, make sure that you say hello in the chat so that we can welcome you. And now back to our regularly scheduled program. Okay. That was simple. That was one. Okay. We're counting that as one. Let's find a place to put this so it can dry because it is glossy paper. So next I have some of my mop up paper. This was from, um, oh, it was from Easter egg dyeing. And when I was cleaning up the, off the tablecloth, the plastic tablecloth, this is what I had. And oh my gosh, it's absolutely beautiful. So we're going to do some stenciling right here on this mop-up cloth. Okay, so there's two birds. I'm going to go ahead and stencil. I'm using the brush that I picked up at Dollar General. Um, I've been told they have them also at Dollar Tree, but I have not seen them. So um, I, I picked up one that was had a real thin line, but I haven't seen the thicker ones like these. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and now I'm, I'm doing the leaves for the tree. And of course it's paper towel, you guys, so it's taking the ink very quickly. green and then we'll do just a little bit of brown and you can see I have put washi tape on the color that I use um, you can go ahead and clean your brushes each time if you want to I'm I would I use them enough that I, I decided to go ahead and get brushes and I need a couple more but they haven't had them lately I'll keep looking. Okay. So just a little bit of brown. Okay. So that gives me, so you can actually do a picture using your stencils and the variety of colors. So um, for this, I have, I have this that, say, that says home office. It is 
a index card in the discard pile. And then I'm just going to use my regular Tombow Mono liquid glue and go around the edge of it. There's that. find a piece of my fabric <laughs> sounds like squeaky chair but it's my squeaky bones <laughs> so, I am so tired and I am so sore from working in the the warehouse okay so I have this fabric so I have two different um, From my fabric scraps, this was one of my fabric scraps. I, I did choose this um, this piece just so I could have something different. So I have this, and then I have the, the fabric that we've been using forever. Okay, so then I'm just going to go ahead and put a line down. You just add some acetone to it and it will soften up. So we'll just switch out fabric tacks for a while. Okay, so there that gives us. I think that's the one that goes up here. <laughs> oh, I hope I have that right. Okay, so. I have these little deli bobbers here. These were, I bought a full box of um, outside solar lights. And these, apparently these are the little holes that they pop out so that they can put the solar lights in. And I was like, oh my gosh. So when I got the whole package of solar lights home, I opened it up and there were all these little circles. They're already cut out. So what I did was they're card that's like a cardboard. So I pulled off one of the sides and then I can come back in and pull off the other side and have another one. So there's that. And then we've been using the um, bingo markers. Or the markers are in my stuff for Christmas in July. So I'm using the master sheet in this journal. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so that gives us that. So another idea, I have part of one of my mom's, um, one of her business cards. And so I thought, you know, here we have the existing, um, the existing design on the card. And I am going to go ahead and take and use one of these circles. Okay, so I'm taking the cardboard part off. Or the, what do they call that? Corrugated. The corrugated part off because I don't want the extra bulk. And then I'm going to put some glue on this and I'm going to put it over here. Okay, and then um, go ahead and 
add another one of the little markers. Oh, we're turning the master sheet into markers is what we're doing here. There. <laughs> they don't want to come out okay so we'll go ahead and add a little little glue on here so um, I did a video on stenciling pages in the June just 15 junk journal challenge and so this time I thought I would do something a little different so we are stenciling today on things the unexpected okay so I have cut out the numbers okay so let's go ahead we're gonna put the cute little bird right here on top of this circle like he was just sitting there he's just sitting there little bird okay and then we'll come over and on top of this little leaf, we'll put our other little bird. Okay, so that gives us our two little birds and helps us with our theme and then across the words I'm just going to put the numbers that we've been using from the tickets that I have from a silent auction and I have people save me the tickets from their different organizations so I get all different colors it's kind of cool different kinds and so there is that little fun thing and I actually thought that that would be um, really kind of pretty on this other the other half of the paint chip so and you know I like to make sure things are everything gets used so I might make a few of these and have them throughout the journal. I just thought that they were pretty, pretty cute, different, fun. Okay, so there's that one. And then I have this here. So this was the directions inside the bingo box. And um, I thought, oh, we can put the little, the little bird on that, and then we'll be able to use it for other embellishments. So I'm going to go ahead and just like we did before, we'll start with our little bird. And then we'll have a little bit of brown. There, we're working on this one anyway. Okay. So there we have two little birds on the bingo and we might as well go ahead and get the third one done. So what I did was I made sure that the bird is being able to be seen. Okay, so we'll be able to just come in 
and I might use that uh, in the in the journal but I thought could go ahead and use the postal scissors for this So we'll have those. Okay, so we have other images on our stencil here. So I thought we could give him a blue belly. And then go with brown. Just to have a different look. Okay, a little ombre there with the blending in his tummy. So there we have that cute bird. And then um, a really, really, really simple one is... go ahead and do your image okay with one color and then come in from the edges with another color for that ombre oh, ombre look okay so we have those two adorable images that we can use and we can I mean these will be able to be ephemera as well. We'll just let them dry and okay. Put that over there, let it dry. Put that one over there and let it dry. So we have our our book. Okay, so we added our little birds here, and we can probably put like one of the sayings from the wrapping paper. Okay, so we have our little bird, and I was thinking we could put him like on, on a house. There we go. There's a cute little house. So that'll give some interest to this page. And I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to use the... See if I can get up that far with the tiny attacher. There we go. Okay, so we have that cute little piece there. Okay, so that is our stenciling. I stencil, I used, um, I stenciled right onto a book page, a glossy book page with these cute little images there. And then we also did, oh, look at Kelly, there's your um, Hansel and Gretel cottage. It's on page 40, 41, 42, and 43 of the book. Okay. And let's see. So there and our little image there. And then, of course, this can become a little tuck spot for something. Okay. So it has, it has a dual purpose okay and then this can become a little tag okay so um, yeah it can go into a, a small pocket these we can use as uh, you know could be a little stamp on if you were just gonna put a stamp on a page like this that might be kind of fun, maybe with some of the fabric behind it. So we'll be using those. I'm excited to have those in my stash here. 
and then um, we did one of the business cards and decorated with the little birds and then we did the multicolor and made this beautiful tag that can become a pocket and I think I really like it with with that um, I don't know that it's going to go in the book with that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this yeah we'll save this so this can be a pocket it could be an insert um, if I put it as a pocket on this page like this you guys then um, you, it'll get covered up so I, I have to think about that so we have all those I think they are really a lot of fun and so those are my stenciling for this time okay so we stenciled on a paint chip made a little tuck space we stenciled on a paint chip and made a little tag. We stenciled on a business card on the decorations that were already there on a business card and made a tag. Oh, I like that. We'll just that will just go right there. Okay. And then we stenciled in all the colors on a mop-up paper towel and we got this so um, and also don't forget we have some embellishments ready out of the bingo cards I think they're going to be really really a lot of fun to use in here so which one was your favorite I love I love all of them I really like the mop-up paper and I think that this would turned out really fun where we put the bird here. And of course, I love, I love that we just added those there. Just like that. I think that's fun. This can still have a pocket down here or a tuck. And um, I think that that's going to be really cool. So find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that YouTube can tell you when the next video is. And don't forget, we'll be here tomorrow at 1030 and 4 Pacific Standard Time weekdays. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye.